Welcome to Walkthrough Wednesday. What's up everybody? Walk through Wednesday. Time to get started and they all split. I, everybody's all huddled up and I was like, this is a great time to start walk through Wednesday. And uh, boy, they scattered like somebody just threw a grenade in the middle of them. Oh well. Well, let's go do some walk around. Maybe, maybe grab a beverage first. That seems to be a kind of a thing that for some are you grabbing those white ones? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. There you go. Okay, now we can get serious. Yeah, we've received a metric shiz ton. Actually, probably four metric shiz tons of product. So there was a hold up on, on a bunch of products uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, that's been sitting for a long time in North Carolina, but now it's coming here. And um, it's a, just an absurd amount of stuff. And so here we are waiting for the new building to get built. It's not built. So we are stacking stuff everywhere. Uh, and we did finally sign up for some, uh, some other warehouse space. So we're good there. But in the meantime, by golly, we got stacks of uh, products everywhere we have a lot of work to do we have uh we have prairie dog palooza yeah tomorrow my favorite time of the year so huh super cool best content all year well yeah. our max pretty good but prairie yeah. dog palooza. but as far as you know the fun stuff yeah the real fun stuff shooting prairie dogs and stuff is about as fun as it gets so i'm super excited about that we got a big group though I had invited people and, um, you know, we sent out invites, we sent out RSVPs, and guess what? They all decided yesterday, literally yesterday, we had like six people jump in. So we got a good group going. It's going to be fun. We got people from all over the industry and... Uh, we are going to slay. The, the ranchers have been sending me pictures of the prairie dogs just destroying fields, and they're like, please get here. So we're going to get down there, give those farmers some help, yo, and do some predator control or some pest control. 17 or 20 people, I think, going. 20 people. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of a big group. So, um, and then... Uh, I think another couple of weeks we do it again. Yeah. You going on that one? I should. I've never been. So Here it. I need to go. Put, I gotta get a gun set up. But put it. Put it in the books. You're going. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. I'll I'll get you those dates actually. So. But we are doing a second one, and it, I think it's in like two weeks. Yeah, I'll try and go. The farmers are like, don't wait. We need it done. So. I gotta get a gun set up, but that's not a problem. We got lots of guns. I know a guy. Yeah, we got lots of guns here. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 got, we got plenty. Yeah. Pantera's a Dynamics. Yeah. Plenty of those. Should have snagged an M4, but we're getting them all out. Too. I know, so, I know. That's how it goes, though. Team player. Yeah. Team player. We want you guys to get guns. See? Let Connor, Connor's a team player. Wants to let you all, y'all get yours first. So. Well, 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 well. Well, well, How are you, sir? I'm doing just fine. How about yourself? Doing good. Future law man. Yeah. Tate just, he informed me today that he's going to school to be an attorney. Would you let this guy represent you? Oh, yeah. If you want to win. Oh, yeah. If you want to win. <laughs> if we want to win. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning about Dude, all this sorts is, of lawyers. This is, let, me, let me explain what he says to me. Yeah, I, I was giving him crap about talking to advisors because he's like, what class is taking? I'm like, you sissy, you're going to still go to school? That's stupid. And he's like, dude, I'm going to go be an attorney. And he's like, and you're going to need one someday. He's like, 
He goes, and I'm going to be, well, have you ever seen the show Better Call Saul? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be me. Yeah. Live. Yeah. Saul, Saul Good. Yeah, Saul, Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman, man. Yeah. Well, it's quiet in here, huh? Where's everybody at? I leave the keys in it, in the trailer, I think, and that'd be safe. Hey, what the hell? It was my idea. Oh, does that make it any better? You guys think you can just jump in a new machine, just take off anytime? We had to get you a cold beverage. All cold right. Beverage run. All right, well, okay then. It was nice knowing you guys. It's my last walk through Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take my leave. How was it? That sick. thing's pretty sweet. Yeah. For being on 33s, it rides really nice. Like, I mean, you're on the road, obviously, but... 30, they're just 32s. Still sick. Yeah. That's going to be the Prairie Dog Murder 3. Should we show them what the windshield does? Well, yeah. There's, I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't do this. Yeah, we couldn't have, we couldn't have a murder rig that didn't do this. You know, sometimes you gotta shoot out the front. Actually, a lot. Hey, I I brought something for you today. What is it? My drone. Sick. I thought you might want to try it. Not here. Why not? Because I've never done an. No, it's before. easy. It's easier than flying a regular drone for sure. Really? It definitely, way more controllable. Do you guys remember the last episode we talked about this being the Bermuda Triangle and now he's trying to get me to fly his drone here? That's different. It's different. It, yeah. Foam planes and um, drones are different. And really nice drones. Yeah, different prices um, for sure. Yeah. Well, let's and, see it. Yeah, let's see it. Yeah. Um, Did you tell him what we're doing with this right now? Yeah, so we're, we're taking pictures. We're gonna clean it off, take pictures. Get the rendering so that we can get it all graphicked up for tomorrow. Because, you know, it's marketing. It's marketing. It needs to be branded UA. I'm not looking for birds. I'm just checking out power lines, make sure we know where everything's at, if we're going to fly a drone, that sort of thing. I would never, Mark, Mark, Mark this down, never be looking for birds on a wire here. That's not what this is for. I... Yes, it's 177, it seems like it'd be perfect for that, but that's not what I'm doing. Anyway, well, let's put this away, because that's not what we're doing. RB, drone. Have you ever flown a first person? Yeah. So sick, it's like the coolest thing ever. They're way cool. Yeah. Cole? What's up? You know, have you ever flown a first person drone? I have not. Well, I've got to change that. We gotta change that. All right, drones. You wanna fly it right now? Yeah. Fair enough. All right, <laughs> let's do it. So, grab a chair, let's get in the shade, because it's hot already. Hey, did you get your thing yet? Your license? Uh, no, I never did it. I need to. You and I both. Should we just set a goal? Like we both will do the class together? Okay. That's a good goal, right? That's a good goal. Is it just me or is it hotter under here? It's hot. No, under here? No, it's... It feels hotter. No, dude, it's hot. No, it's... Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> what kind of uh, FPV drone did you get? It's the... Uh, Nevada? D yeah. Nevada 2. I, I want to fight a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, look, I need chairs. Where's the chair? Understairs. Chairs. Upstairs. Chairs. I am yeah. immediately jealous. It should be. Let's go. You got dogs. Oh, look. Come on, Roscoe. Don't be like that. All right, so put this on real quick. 
wrecked it already. Shut wrecked up! Wrecked him. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Wrecked him. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. I did get a little cocky, and I crashed it a little bit. Low. It was it was low flying. Okay, let off. Oh my gosh. Okay, so just to be clear, the movements are gonna be you're gonna le left, right, down, up, right. So I want you to barely touch your your trigger, and you're gonna pull up a little a little donut. So pull the trigger until you see a circle. How do I get my, my so right currently on the bottom of my screen, it's like the selection mode? How do I get that? Yeah, I'm way? trying to look at that. Okay, so if you touch the trigger, it'll pull up a white circle. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, that's where you're going to, that's that's your fly direction. So the more throttle you give it, the, the more it's going to go that way. So just start moving. I'm looking up so you don't hit the UPS man. Here, keep going. He's like, UPS guy's waiting patiently, so get going. So you def you got a lot of wires around here, so just be very aware of those. Pascal, come on. <laughs> he likes drones. Well, he hates them. Yeah. Right, Ross goes out again. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, here he comes. He's on it. Roscoe, no. I think we can fly between Cameron's legs. Oh. Yeah, there you go. He just sits down. We got a escapist here. <laughs> no! Someone close this door behind me. Hey, got him! <laughs> he can back out of his collar. He goes that crazy, huh? He hates it. Well, that was neat. You guys, for today's Walkthrough Wednesday, we did a fun little activity. We took a few surveys. Um, to see what we thought of certain people in the office or what we think people might be doing with their lives. Uh, for example, the first award that we gave it away today that everybody voted uh, most likely to bring treats to the office. We'll go ahead and accept this in her behalf. Jody Draney, she's always bringing us treats, making sure everybody's taken care of. She's basically the mom of Utah Air Guns. So congrats, Jody. Everybody uh, loves your treats. All right, guys, for the next award, we had most likely to be uh, the office DJ. And this award is a special one because we love good tunes around here. It really sets the vibe. So Mr. Cooper Purrington, office no DJ. Way. Congratulations, brother. We appreciate the good tunes. Thank you. Let's go. I want to thank my mom and my grandma and my brother and my sister and my other. Mike hates the Steelers. So we got a giant seven foot inflatable Steelers guy to prank him with. All right guys, for the next award, uh, voted most likely to win a fitness challenge and this person won a second one. So 
most likely to win a fitness challenge, and most likely being able to keep a secret, the man, the myth, the legend, Jason Mertlick. Jason, congrats on your awards. I'm excited. There you are. I need to hang these up. Uh, if you'd like to check out who they're signed from, um, official for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, oh, Fonda, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I recognize Fonda. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. So there you go. The whole uh, the whole awesome. office thinks you'd kick everybody's ass in a fitness challenge and also keep a secret if we needed you to well, your thanks. help killing somebody. So. Thanks, gang. I'd like to thank uh, all the people that made it happen, <laughs> which is me. <laughs> <laughs> For our next award, we have an important one because this really just tells you uh, this person's willing to have a little bit of fun. Okay, we have uh, voted most likely to get arrested one day. This is our boy, Braden Bernard. Braden, Are you serious? everybody in the office <laughs> thinks you're going to get arrested one day, so. Thank, thanks, guys. Don't call me if you need bail. We got faith. <laughs> we got faith. <laughs> Do you have anything to say to the people who voted you most likely to get arrested, Braden? Um, first off, I just, I want to ask, like, just why, what am I going to get arrested for? And second off, uh, catch me outside. I might sneak over to your house later. Um, <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll get arrested for. Who why, knows? Why don't you guys drop in the comments what you think Braden would get arrested for? Yeah, I'm probably curious. <laughs> as for the next award, we've got one that I'm a little, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little sad that I didn't win, okay? This one is being voted most likely to bring their kids to the office. You know, everybody's favorite, uh, favorite dad, Landry Patton. Oh! Landry, you were voted most likely to bring your kids to the office. We Thanks. love seeing Landry's girls. All yes. three of them are awesome. Landry, what do you have to say to the people about voting you most likely to bring your kids? Um, family first. Spend time with your kids. Make memories. I don't know. That's what huge. Else. Is that inspirational? This is very inspirational. I'm, yeah, I'm going to call my wife. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, babe, I love you. I hope you're, I hope you're doing okay. Bring right. the kids in quick. <laughs> what are you quick, doing? Bring the kids in. <laughs> All right, guys, for our next couple awards, the same person won both of these. Um, I think they're both pretty deserving because if you know this person, he's, he's definitely keen on both of these. First one being most vo voted uh, to pull a prank, most likely to pull a prank. And the second one, most likely to help a colleague in need. This award goes over here to the man of the hour, out here sighting in a gun, Justin Jacobson. Justin, the crew voted you most likely to pull a prank, accurate. It's accurate. And most likely to help a colleague. If anybody knows Justin, Aww. He'd give the shirt off his back. Maybe not a sweaty one, but he'd give you one if he needed it. Well, that's nice. Yeah, Jess, what do you have to say, nice. to, the, say to the people? The, the crew obviously thinks you're pretty giving hey, and also a, pretty good. a goober for pranking us all the time. I do like to prank people. I do like to prank people. Well, wow. I'm, I'm honored. And uh, I forgot to bring my speech with me for my awards. As for the next award, the, uh, the office voted this person most likely to have the messiest workspace. We love this guy, but he's, there might be a mess on his desk. Let's go check out who won this one. And here we go. The man of the hour. What's up? Cameron Brinkerhoff. What did I get? You have been voted most likely to have the messiest workspace. I do have the messiest workspace. As you can see, there's about two inches of square space left on, on Cameron's. People would quit leaving their crap so all over my desk. There you go. How do you feel about this vote? I feel like it's fair. <laughs> I feel like what it's fair. Not yeah. from you. Uh, <laughs> these three things are not from me. These barrel liners are not from me. Um, Moral of the story is I guess people pile stuff on Cameron's desk. So. These two boxes are not from me. Uh, Okay, maybe I'm I'm partially responsible. Okay, at least he's accepting some responsibility. Uh, most uh, messiest desk. Most yep. messiest desk. Weird. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, what's the app called that you use to track all your movies? Letterbox. Okay. All right. For the next award, guys, we've got most likely to binge watch a series over the weekend. Okay, we've got Miss Lauren Forsey. If anybody knows Lauren, Lauren loves film. She loves TV series. She will watch till the cows come home. Check out her letterboxed account. It'll blow your mind. All right. Lauren, what do you have to say to the people? Um, well, let me see my award. Here's your award. Back up. 
<laughs> I would like to thank my parents for this award because they pay for all the streaming services that I use. Um, I'd also like to thank Austin. Bro, she uses my peacock. Because I... Who is that? Fonda? Okay, that's it. Thanks, We're running guys. Out of space on the card. Okay, whatever. All right, for our next award, you guys, we've got voted most likely to have the loudest laugh. And if you've ever been to Utah Air Guns, I'm sure you've met this guy. I'm sure he's hugged you. Perry, the hugger Bronson, voted most likely to have the loudest laugh. Perry's not here right now, but we got his A-team over here to accept his award. You guys, we're gonna accept this on the behalf of Perry. We'll put it right up here by his business cards. Perfect. There you go, Pear Bear. We love this guy, and he sure does laugh loud. World's best boss. World's best boss, according to Zach. So, there you go, guys. Perry Bronson. All right, guys. For the next award, we have voted most likely to know the office gossip. Okay, this person has a very clear inside track to everything going on here. If you have a question, if you ask her, she'll probably have an answer for you. This goes to... Miss Kate Jacobson. Kate, Ooh. congratulations on your award. Thank you. Um, you know, we really appreciate all the gossip you're, you're willing to share with us. Thank you. Um, I like to be in everyone's business. <laughs> there you have it. She loves being in everybody's business and uh, yeah, what do, you what do you have to say to the people? I'd like to thank all the voters for this award slash my coworkers. Shout out to you guys. I know you're watching this right now during lunch, but <laughs> yeah, so I'm so honored to be given this award. Love it, you guys. It's a big one. Yeah. There you go, guys. Hey, thank you. Thank you for this award. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was crazy, you guys. <laughs> yeah, that was so loud. All right, you guys, for the next award, we have voted most likely to crack a joke during a serious moment. Okay, this guy is a jokester, a prankster. Kyler Rickenbach. Really? Kyler, everybody voted you most likely to crack a joke during a serious moment. So Ooh. if you hear giggles during the opening prayer, it's probably Kyler. Sweet. What do you have to say to the people, Kyler? Uh, thanks. There you go. Yeah, could you, could you hit us with a uh, walk through Wednesday appropriate, would you rather? No, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm on camera. Oh, there you go, guys, I tried. Okay, guys, for our next award, this person was voted most likely to win a karaoke contest. And if you know her, she would probably win a square dancing contest too. <laughs> she kicks a lot of ass. The one and only Haley Reeve. Oh, thank you. Haley, apparently the people think you can sing. Yeah. I don't know. I've never heard you sing. I, I've never, I don't know who voted that. But. I think we might take Walkthrough Wednesday up to uh, the Westerner or something for like square dancing karaoke night Perfect. and let, let Haley really show off her talents. Perfect. Let the people see what she can do, so. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, what I do you have to do? I should shake your hand or something. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> yeah. As for our last award here at Utah Air Guns, voted most likely to know everyone's birthday, Chell per Pearson. Pearson? Person? You guys tell me how it's said. Let's go take this to Chell. And there he is. Chell. What's up? You were voted most likely to know everyone's birthday here hey, at Utah Air Guns. <laughs> There you go. That's a positive one. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Is there anybody you'd like to thank for this award? Anything you'd like to say to the people? The creators of our our uh, payroll software. Yep. I'm sure that's how I know this. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'll guys. be honest. My vote was Paylocity. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Guys, thanks for joining us for uh, our most likely two awards here at Utah Air Guns. Let us know what you want to see. Let's do something fun for Walkthrough Wednesday. Throw down some ideas down in the comments. And now we're going to get back to our regularly scheduled walkthrough Wednesday program. Have a good day, guys. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up here with walkthrough Wednesday. Um, Justin had to leave getting ready for Prairie Dog Palooza that they're leaving on tomorrow. Um, but we'll just show you kind of what we've been up to since then. Um, pallets, tons and tons of pallets. So everybody's been all hands on deck, wrapping these up, trying to get things organized. You see all the trailers and fun stuff that's leaving for Prairie Dog Palooza tomorrow. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the most likely certificates. We had a lot of fun with the surveys and uh, looking at all your coworkers and where they fit in. So um, until next time, I guess. Out again. Go up. Oh! <laughs>